When Lehi offered sacrifices at his base camp, it says that he built an altar of stones. That's precisely in accordance with the altar law that we find in Exodus chapter 20. In gratitude and in the spirit of a thank offering, they build an altar and offer up sacrifice, showing that the temple understanding was deep in their background. I can't imagine how wonderful it was to have those ritual ways to worship together as a family to say to the Lord in that way, we are, we are a family and we come before Thee in gratitude. That was for them the most eloquent expression of thanksgiving for deliverance and for divine blessing. When we read of this family, the, the ins insularity of it, the just being together in everything they do, it's hard not to be envious. The altar goes all the way back to the beginning of the Pentateuch. The altar is itself a mini temple. And the spirit of somehow acknowledging that our nourishment ultimately is from God, all kinds of nourishment, physical and spiritual, and that to say so in prayer in this mode is to bring a blessing into the act itself. And then the partaking is not just an eating, it is a feast which memorializes the power of God and which is attended by His Spirit. And that is a sacramental act.